Okay, we will get started in a minute or two here. We'll be working on hip openers today. Um, shouldn't need any any materials. We'll get started in about two minutes. All right, let's see. Go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to do some hip openers today, so you shouldn't need anything. But uh, I'll be watching from back here. If you can't hear me, just uh, just go ahead and send me a message, and I can speak louder. Anything you need. Um, also, put a Spotify link up on the event page if you want to listen to music. Um, why I speak. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started then. So we'll just start the class today seated on the mat. We can uh, cross our legs, close our eyes, just take a moment to focus on our breathing. Taking a deep breath in together, inhaling, and exhaling it all through the mouth. One more time, take a deep breath in through the nostrils, exhale it all out. We're going to bring the hands to heart center. Coming to a normal breathing pace. Maybe taking the time here to set an intention for your class. Whether it's just being easy or kind on yourself. Or maybe you need to push yourself. Whatever it is, go ahead. You don't have to set anything. And we're gonna do a little stretch here in, this, in our seated position. Go ahead and put your arms out in front of you, and you can open your eyes and bring them to a soft gaze. Extend your arms out in front of you, cross your fingers. And on the inhale, bring the arms up above the head, getting a nice stretch through the back, the torso. And exhale back down. We'll do that one more time. Go ahead and inhale, reaching up. Hands go high, spine is neutral, exhale, let it all come back down. So like I said, we'll, um, we'll do some hip openers today. Um, if there's anything that you'd like to do, go ahead and type it in the chat box as well. I'll, 
um, try and take a peek maybe halfway through and incorporate something in there. Um, hopefully my internet is consistent. There is a storm passing through. I'm not in North Liberty right now. Um, so if I lose connection, I'll try and reconnect, but if it closes, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and come to all fours on our map. And we're gonna do some cat cows. We're just gonna do a little bit different. So go ahead, place palms of your hands on the map, fingers spread wide, but we're gonna put our hands at an angle Get a wrist stretch just like this. If you can see me, we're gonna put it backwards so that the fingers are kind of pointed towards the knees. If that's too hard on your wrist or your hands, just kind of bring them out a little so the fingers are pointing out to the sides of your mat till the point where you're still getting that stretch, but it's comfortable. And then we'll go ahead and come into our cat cow. So go ahead and breathe into that first cow. And exhale, curve the spine. Pull in the stomach. And just do a few of those in your own breath. Feeling that stretch in the wrist. It's good if you've been working at home all week, typing away. And if you need to come back to like a normal hand position, that's fine too. Your wrists need a break. Feel free here to move around, whatever feels comfortable. Shift the hips side to side. Let's do one more set of cat cows and then find yourself to a neutral spine. And then we're going to come down into a puppy pose. So breathing out, uh, hips shift back in space, glutes sink down. And it's kind of not, it's not quite child's pose, but uh, it's not quite downward facing dog either. So it's still a pretty active pose where the hands are reaching out. And then we're going to go ahead and bring our right hand and place it over the left, giving a little bit of a side body stretch here. Just warming up the body. Good little afternoon stretch. And then we can shift over to the right side. And then we'll come back to all fours again. And we're going to come in to our downward facing dog. So hands go out a little bit more, fingers spread wide. Feet go to the back of the mat, hips raise, and then push out through the heels. Feel free to bend your knees. You know, if you haven't stretched in a while, it's definitely okay to bend your knees on your downward dog. Even you can feel free to kind of walk the hands a little bit. Just getting a nice back stretch here. Really good stretch for the spine. Just bringing that chest kind of closer in, maybe bending the knees. And then you can elongate back out to that downward dog. Hips pushing up, heels pushing out. And then we're going to inhale, coming into a high plank. And then exhale, lower back down to the ground. And then we're going to go ahead and put our claw hands out to the sides of our mat, so a little wider than usual for our cobra. And then we'll inhale, coming up for a baby cobra, pushing through those fingers. And exhale, lowering back down. 
Do some nice soft baby cobra. We'll do one more baby cobra just like that, nice and soft. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're going to do one more, maybe coming up a little further this time. So inhale, really get that lower back stretch. Push yourself up as high as you can. Don't forget to breathe here. And on the exhale, come back down. Inhale, rising up back to a plank. Exhaling into your downward facing dog. And we're going to inhale here. But on the exhale, walk your feet up into a forward facing fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins. Spine is neutral. And exhale, let it all out. Definitely bend the knees a little bit here. Let the arms hang. And just kind of rest here. Maybe move the head side to side or get some neck rolls in if you need it. Whatever feels comfortable. You can also have the arms come up behind the back. Reach out for a nice shoulder back stretch here. Ugh. And then when you're ready, go ahead and inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, come down to heart center. Good thing is you can actually see my head this time. I think in the last video, my head was cut off just because I'm so tall. All right, we're going to inhale again, sweeping the arms up. We're going to do some more side stretches here. So go ahead and grab your right wrist with your left hand. And then take a breath in. And on the exhale, stretch on over to your left side. You'll feel a nice stretch kind of right here, kind of the obliques area, right here on the side body. Maybe, maybe up further. And then on your inhale, come back to the center. Switch your wrist. And exhale, stretch over the other side. Oh yeah, need that one. And on the next inhale, come back to center. And exhale, let the hands come down to a mountain. Kind of feel yourself here. Get in touch with your body. You feel warmed up. Just focusing on the breath, relaxing. Take one more breath in, sweeping the arms up overhead. And then exhale, swan dive back down to the ground to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let it all out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. We're going to go through our sun salutations now. So go ahead and exhale, coming down to a forward fold. Place the hands on the mat. Left foot goes to the back of the mat. We come into our lunge. This is a moment where you breathe in here. And then exhale into your downward facing dog, which we did earlier. Hips go back. No. And then on your inhale, slide into that high plank. On the exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale, claw hands or whatever you're comfortable with. Cobra or baby cobra. Option to do up dog as well, which I will show you. It's just kind of lifting off the ground like this, not quite a plank, 
the hips are lower, and you're just getting that lower back stretch. And then on your exhale, coming up from your cobra or plank, back into the downward facing dog. And then we're gonna inhale, walking the feet forward between the hands, forward fold. Exhaling there. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, we'll sink down into a chair pose. So arms are extending out over the head. Feel it in the calves there. And inhale, sweep the arms up again overhead. Exhaling, swan diving to our forward fold. Hands plant on the mat, right foot goes back this time. Exhaling into our downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, coming up into our downward facing dog. Woo! There we go. That was a fast one round of sun salutation. Feel free here to hang out in a downward facing dog, just kind of shifting the legs. We're going to go into some hip openers pretty soon here, or if you need to take child's pose, which I recommend if you need a break at any time, you can take child's pose. Our knees are at the edges of the mat. Just reach out with your hands, heads resting on the ground, and our hips are resting, sinking back top of the feet. Feel free to take that at any point if you think it's too, too much. All right, nobody said anything, so we're going good. All right, meeting in our downward facing dog. We're gonna do a three-legged dog here. So bring the right foot up on the inhale. And then hold it there, exhaling. And on your next inhale, go ahead and feel free to open up at the hips here. Just kind of getting those hips ready. Feet kind of shift over to the side, pointing to the wall. Just kind of make sure you're pulling out with that uh, thigh so you're getting the, um, the hip stretch there. On your exhale, bring the foot down, and then we'll inhale, bring the left foot up to the sky, and then feel free to get that hip stretch. We can do one more set of those. Let's go ahead and inhale, raise the right foot up to the sky. Exhale, getting the hip stretch. Inhaling, holding, and exhaling, foot back down. Just try and be graceful with your movement here. Inhaling, bringing that left foot up. Opening up at the hip. And exhaling, bringing it back down. Option to move through a vinyasa flow here, or you can just take a downward facing dog. You just want to get that flow into us so our bodies are versatile. And we'll meet in a downward facing dog when you're ready. Okay, and then one more time. Inhale, raise that right foot up. Exhale, bring it down underneath the torso and place the foot between the hands. If you need to give it a little help like me, that is okay too. And then we're going to go ahead and lower that left knee down to the ground. If you need a towel or... Um, you have like kind of your knees are sensitive feel free to set something underneath that um because we'll probably we'll be on our knees a little bit today just getting those hip hip stretches in so what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of do these rested lunges and coming into uh i think they're the half splits so on our exhales we're going to come down let the 
Bring the knee back into place. Your toes can point up towards the ceiling. We're gonna sink or hinge at the hips. Kind of get that calf and hip stretch here. So if you need, if you're not really feeling in your hips, feel free to bring this left knee further out. And then your fingers or hands will be on the mat doing this stretch. And then on the inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up, shifting that knee forward, kind of coming into our rested lunge here. And then exhale, back down into that stretch. So slow flow here, just feel it out in your own rhythm. I'll, I'll guide you through one or two and then let you go on your own pace here. So inhale, shifting forward. Exhaling, coming down. Inhaling, shifting up. Exhaling, coming down. Inhale. Exhale. Do one or two more of those. Okay, good job, everyone. So what we're gonna do is kind of come into our rested lunge here. So knee forward and probably stacked over the heel as well. We're going to, but it's okay if it's a little further, go ahead and walk that foot out to the edge of your mat, but not, not off of the mat. And then we're gonna walk the hands forward coming into the lizard pose. So your knee is still bent, your weight is shifted forward, your shoulders stacked over wrist, and you'll really feel that hip stretch there. And then you're welcome to come down onto your forearms. If your body allows it, if it feels uncomfortable or if this is too much for a stretch of you, just feel free to stay on top of your hands um, maybe bringing that foot out wider could also help you lower down. Just be, be careful and slow about it. Just, you know, feel your body, whatever it tells you you can do. And then we'll just kind of hold here. And you can slowly start to bring yourself up, pulling ourselves back into lizard pose, maybe even bring that foot back, coming into our lunge, rested lunge, inhaling, lifting the hands above the head. And if you're able to, tuck those toes underneath and push yourself back into a lunge. Exhale, lower back down, hands to the, to the mat, right foot comes back, and we're back in our downward facing dog. If you need any more stretches here, or would like to move through a vinyasa flow, that is up to you, or if you need to rest in child's pose, go ahead and do that, we'll meet in downward facing dog. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, lifting that left foot into the sky. 
exhaling it, bringing it underneath the torso and placing it between the hands. Coming into our lunge, we're gonna set that right knee down to the ground. So we're in our rested lunge here. And then we're gonna go through the same motions that we just did. So go ahead and exhale, sink back to that half splits, wherever it's comfortable. And then I'll move us to the pose where we're inhaling into our rested lunge and coming back into the half splits. So go ahead and inhale, sweep the arms up, knee goes forward. Let's go down there. And exhale, bring it all down. Inhale, cycling back up. Exhaling, we come down. Inhale, soaring back up. Weight shifts forward. Exhale. Inhale, bring the arms back. Go ahead and do two more cycles in your own breath. And then when you're finished, come into that rested lunge. And then we're going to bring our hands underneath our torso, walking that left foot out to the edge of the mat this time, coming into our lizard pose. And if you're not really feeling it and the stretch in the hip from there, maybe walk that knee backwards a little bit, and that will really help you feel the hip uh, a deeper hip stretch. Um, or you can bring it forward for maybe something easier. Yeah, go ahead and find what's comfortable here if you need to lower down. Maybe closing the eyes, focusing on the breath, feeling the slow burn, the stretch. You can slowly start to push yourself back up into your lizard pose or shifting that foot back into space, reaching the arm back around and shifting that left foot back, lifting the right knee up, coming into our downward facing dog. And then go ahead here and move through another vinyasa flow or child's pose, whatever is more comfortable for you. It's your practice, honor your body, honor your intention. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and walk the feet forward, come into a forward facing fold here. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is neutral, gaze is forward, and exhale it all out. On our next inhale here, I want you to breathe deeply through the nose, feel the chest and the stomach fill up with air. And your halfway lift, and exhale it all out through the mouth. 
One more time, just like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. And then inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Coming into a strong resting position, mountain. And then we're going to go ahead and take like a wide angle position. Um, stay in your mountain, but maybe spread the feet out a bit further. And we're going to go ahead and do some sun goddess. So we'll have your arms kind of cactus out like this. Um, like making a cactus. And then so we'll, on the inhale, we'll rise up. On the exhale, we'll lower down, just bending the knees a little bit. So kind of like squats a little bit. So inhale, come up. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale, lowering down. Do them kind of fast. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise to the sun. Exhale, rooted to the earth. Inhale, exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, do two more. Inhale up. One more. And then we'll come to our hands at heart center into a prayer squat. So just hands at heart center, maybe spread the legs even wider. Um, just getting that balance, finding a balance in your wide angle here. And what we're going to do is have, have the toes pointed forward um, so that they're parallel with the ends of your mat. Um, and what we're going to do here is shift our prayer squat to the left and try and come down as far as we can. So take a deep breath in here at your center. And exhale, shift down to the left. Maybe the Heel spins and the toes come up. Oh yeah, you'll really feel that one. And then inhaling, coming back up to the center. Maybe switching to the other side on the exhale. See if you can find a flow with that. And I'll try and be quiet so I'm not always saying inhale, exhale. You can find your own breath here. This one always makes me feel kind of like a ninja. Maybe that sounds silly, but. I feel like I'm training Kung Fu masters watching over me or something. I just do some of those back and forth at your own pace. It's okay if you're slower or faster than me, whatever your body wants. Just see if you can Challenge yourself if you want to, to go as low as you can, getting a deeper stretch. Really stretches almost the whole leg there. I feel it on my calf, my thigh, and my hips, so it's really good opener. And then on your next inhale, come to your heart center. Maybe bring in the feet a little bit, a little exhale, coming down to a wide angle forward fold. Just let it all out here. Let the head hang. Let the arms hang. And then on your next breath in, come into a wide angle halfway lift. And then go ahead and exhale, reaching over to one side, maybe bending the knee again, just kind of a little bit of the same stretch, just a little bit softer. And then inhaling, coming to your center, exhaling over the other side. Mm. 
And that's just to counteract some of the um, hip poses today. We'll, we'll try and do some crow's pose. Um, it's a little bit of an intermediate pose. So just kind of watch me closely and get a feel for uh, what you think you're able to do. So um, we'll start in our prayer squat here. Um, you can be on your toes or you can have your feet fully planted on the ground, whatever's more comfortable for you. And then place your palms in front of you down on the mat, fingers spread wide. You need a strong hand foundation here. So just make sure you have a good connection with the earth here. And then your arms are going to be straight, shoulders stacked over wrist, and your elbows are how I like to do it. Your arms, your elbows are going to be kind of pushing against your knees here, and your knees are going to be kind of squeezing in, so they're kind of counteracting each other, so you can kind of hold yourself into this position. And what you're going to do is kind of rock forward a little bit, feeling your weight out on your arms. You want to keep the arms straight we're putting all our weight down into our hands and arms here and then just go forward until you feel the toes lift off and that's how you do it if you um it may vary it's different for everybody where your hands are um, i like to have my hands pretty close in Let's see yep and if you can't do that that's fine just Shift the weight forward. You'll get this almost the same benefit of the practice if you just shift your weight forward. Just be careful not to face plant. <laughs> it's definitely uh, definitely a thing if you're coming too far forward. Just feel your weight push against the, the back of your elbows and against your uh, arms and hands. And go ahead and tr keep trying that or at least um, Building the arm strength. Very fun pose. Uh. And what's great is nobody can see you if you are falling. <laughs> I can't see you, so um, yeah, it's just a great, great practice to build arm strength. <laughs> And then if some of you can do it, um, I don't think I can. It takes a lot of abdominal strength that you can even eventually whoop, you have, extend your legs out to the side and get a good stretch there too. Um, but I haven't perfected that yet. So if you are done with the crow or still in it, go ahead on your next exhale, come back into our prayer squat position. And then we're going to come down back onto our hands and knees. And we'll do, do a couple of cat cows here. Just want to get a little more rested before we go into our next position, our final, our final stretches. So do a few cat cows on your own, maybe two or three. Being sure to curve the spine, all in the belly of the cat, and then letting, letting it loose on the inhale, bring the gaze forward. Now we're going to do the same cat cows that I love. I love this pose so much. I probably do it every other class. Um, sunbird. So. What, what it is, is it's kind of like a spinal balance. Your left hand comes up on the inhale, as well as the right leg will lift up. And this is spinal balance. You can feel free to do this if sunbird is too hard for you. So on the inhale, you come to this, and then you'll exhale back down. Sunbird, when you inhale up, you take that hand, whatever it is, left hand or right hand, reach it back to the pinky side of your foot, and pull, pull up, kind of with your foot, with your arm, with your abdominals, and you'll get a little bit of a hip stretch here. It's a tiny one, not as much as lizard pose. And then exhale, bring it back down. Go ahead and feel free to do some of those spinal balances on your own. 
Just kind of doing a moderate stretch here. Just feels good. And then we'll kind of uh, place when you're ready, place your hands down on your mat, come into a downward facing dog. Probably the last one of our day. And so go ahead and move through a vinyasa flow if you like, which if you don't know already, vinyasa flow is just kind of this notion of going through your downward facing dog to your plank, exhaling down to a chaturanga. So you want your the important part is also the chaturanga. So when you're, it's kind of like a push up. When you're lowering down, you kind of want to hold yourself a little bit right before your belly meets the ground. Because you're going to find out that's actually pretty hard to do. You want to lower down softly. That's where you're really getting the, uh, the muscle build right there. And then continuing the vinyasa flow is coming up for, you know, your choice of cobra. Or up dog and back into a downward facing dog and that's what um, instructors mean when they say go through your uh, vinyasa flow so we'll go ahead and move into some of the deeper stretches as we come towards the end of our practice so we'll meet in our downward facing dog let's Let's do one more three-legged hip stretch here. So inhale, bring that right foot up to the sky. Stretch the hip open to the side, if you can. And then on the exhale, bring that knee and hover it underneath the torso. Shift your weight forward like you would in a plank. And then rest that leg down on the ground underneath you. And you can put the left knee back down on the ground and then what you're going to do is just kind of bring that knee back this is pigeon's pose so your leg should be parallel with the end of your mat if it's at an angle a little bit that's fine as long as you feel the stretch in your hip there's not pain anywhere else and then bring your forearms down to the ground just getting a nice deep hip stretch here Hopefully this is feeling really relaxing for you and you can kind of slowly bring yourself up, hands first, kind of pushing your chest back up and then sink the, the left toes up, bring up that knee and you can bring your right leg back and then we'll do the left side this time. So walk the, walk the knees a little bit just to Get that out of you, walk your dog, and then on your next inhale, bring that left foot up into the sky to a left downward or three-legged dog, open the hips, and on the exhale, same thing, hover it underneath the torso, 
come forward like you would a plank and lower that leg down to the ground. Down comes the knee and onto the forearms. We're in pigeon's pose. Just focus on the breathing here. Quieting the mind. Letting the body start to rest. And when you're ready, slowly rise up. And the arms push away from the earth. And go ahead on this one. Come into all fours. Might be a little bit easier. And we're going to do camel's pose. So you can hinge at the hips. So we're just kind of standing on our knees here. And then with camel's pose, your hands are going to reach back, kind of like we would do like a nice little shoulder back stretch here. And then, so you're gonna take a breath in here, like you're going into chest expansion, exhale, and kind of lean back, grabbing at the ankles. Don't forget to breathe here. This is a hard pose for sure. If it's too much or you feel like it's too hard on the back, you do not have to do it. That's completely okay. Just um, continue doing like a chest expansion, which is just your hands are behind your back. Um, and then you're just kind of pulling away with those hands. Your shoulders are pinching together like there's a pencil in between them. And just breathing into that. Kind of the opposite of the hip expansion here, but I thought it'd be good to just get the focus somewhere else so it's not too much on the hips. And then when you're ready, you can come back up from that. And on the inhale, let's see, I have two more stretches, but I'm forgetting what, oh, okay. So we'll come into a seated position here. Um, on your maps, you can be facing forward, um, legs out in front of you, and actually, we're going across them, so the, you can bring the left leg in, cross it, cross it over, maybe tuck it underneath the thigh of the right leg, and then bring that right foot back up, but the knee will kind of be forward, so we're in this kind of seated position here. And we want um, want a neutral neutral spine, so don't be like too squeezed over. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a twist, uh, just a seated twist here. So we want to breathe in, kind of feel your abdominals rise here, and then shift 
over to your right side. So your left arm is going to be kind of resting against um, your elbow or your knee, your right knee. And you're just kind of twist at the body here. So breathe up, lift through the abdominals, and then twist to the right. Got a nice side body stretch here. And then when you're ready, coming back, and we'll switch sides. So the right knee goes down, left comes up. And then just breathe in, lift with the abdominals, and rotate to left side. Your glutes should be, you know, rooted on the, on the ground. Um, if you feel them lifting up, you might want to grab a block, but you should be more centered that they should be on the ground. And on your exhale, come to heart center, you can cross the legs. And we're going to move on to the back from here. And we're going to come into a shoulder stand. So I'll, I'll guide you through it if you haven't done it before. So just go ahead and lay down on your mat. And bring the, bring the knees to chest. Maybe get a little lower back stretch there if you need it all side to side and then go ahead and set your feet down on the ground knees are still raised um oh man actually you know what i'm sorry knees to chest and then we're going to slowly carefully lift those feet up point them towards the ceiling and then you're going to pull up with your abdominals and use your arms and your hands as a support for your back. So you want to feel this, the weight on your shoulders. Make sure it's not your neck. Be very careful not to put any weight on your neck. Uh, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself at home. So basically, this takes a lot of abdominal strength. You can pull it up with your abdominals. Again, that nice weight push down on your shoulders. So it just feels like a really great stretch there. It makes it so easy with your, uh, once your hands are able to support you, but you know, you get more out of the stretch the more you lift with your abdominals. And then, whenever you're ready, if you would like to stay here for a while, that's fine. Um, otherwise, the rest of us, we can move into Happy baby, so slowly lower down. Or if you didn't do that, you come into happy baby, which is knees to chest, and then just spread those knees wide, grab a hold of the feet on the pinky side, and kind of push out, getting the nice hamstring stretch there. A little bit of hamstring stretch. Definitely a hip stretch here. And then you can lower back down when you're ready. If there's any other poses you'd like today do for today's practice, go ahead and take them now. Otherwise, we will move into our Shavasana. You can your resting position. Any hands rested at your side or over the stomach. 
eyes closed. Returning to your normal breath. Thanking the body for the practice it put in today. Just sitting in stillness. Letting the mind quiet. When you're ready, starting to wake the body, moving your fingers, wiggling the toes. Maybe shifting a little bit side to side until you're able to roll over to one side completely. And when you're ready, taking your hands and softly pushing yourself back up into a seated position. Ooh. Keeping the eyes closed. Maybe have a soft gaze, bringing the hands to your heart center. We'll take a deep breath in together. Inhale in. Exhale let it all out. Thank you for coming to this practice. Thank you for joining me and let me guide you in our practice. The light in me honors the light in each and all of you. Namaste. <clears throat> well, thanks everybody. Hopefully that was a great workout for you. I will catch you next Saturday. See ya.